pleased to be joined now by Ron Gallo, Director of Communications with the Prince George Spruce Kings. Ron, thank you for joining us on the show this week. And I uh, want to start off with this season. Uh, for the most part of the season, the team's been at or near the top of the mainland division. Certainly has to be viewed as a success in your eyes. Absolutely. It's a pleasant surprise for the Prince George Spruce Kings and their fans and their faithful that have been following them for many, many years because there's been some lean times as well. Uh, but to see this team that on paper not very many people would have expected very much out of this team to do as well as they're doing, I mean, that's great. I mean, it's great for hockey in Prince George and certainly great for hockey with the Prince George Spruce Kings. Now, people who maybe don't follow the league closely might look at the uh, standings and see Prince George in the mainland division and say, that doesn't make sense geographically. Explain how that came to be. Well, it's, it's an interesting way that it comes about, but of course, you're right. I mean, you have four teams that are right there in the Fraser Valley, lower mainland area, and then you have Prince George that's eight to nine hours away. And the way that this came about is there was the realignment after the Quinnell Millionaires folded. Certainly a few years before that, it was the Williams Lake Timberwolves that could no longer have a team in the BC Hockey League. And so what was happening is that trip north for everybody was starting to diminish and diminish, and now all of a sudden you had one single team that was on the outpost, and that's Prince George. You look at the interior division, and that's where we fit for so many years, for 18 seasons uh, almost, I think it was 17, sorry. Uh, but uh, we fit in the interior division quite nicely. But now all of a sudden it would have been too much of a misbalance in the BC Hockey League. So they approached us, the BC Hockey League approached us with a plan of trying for one year and see what it would take to play in the mainland division with the likes of the Chilliwack Chiefs. And certainly the Chilliwack Chiefs had no problem with it because they're a brand new team partly made up of the Quinnell Millionaires. Right. So we thought we'd give it a try. And to be quite honest with you, last year being the first season that this was done, the Prince George Spruce Kings fit in very well in the mainland division, developed some rivalries in, uh, almost instantly. The interesting thing about the whole thing is the stands were littered with fans from Prince George or for Prince George because so many of the boys come from the lower mainland area. We had the likes of Kirk Thompson and Trevor Esau right, uh, right here. Big parts in of your team. Absolutely, and, and right here in the, in the valley. So their fans are here, Justin Rye, Karin Tewitt, the list goes on. And some of those players are still here again this year. We don't see it quite as much as we did in first year, but certainly it's there. And uh, so for many of the players, it was a home and home situation, even though they were on the road. So they, you know, suck it up. It's an eight-hour drive, but let's go play the game that we love to play. You've been around this team a long time. We chatted a bit before uh, we came on air here, 20 years, I believe. Uh, how have you seen this organization develop over those years? Well, certainly when we go back to my day one, which was the Rocky Hockey right. days, uh, you're dealing with a team that was considered to be an elite team at that level, uh, playing Rocky Hockey with the likes of the Trail Smoke Eaters at the time before they moved over as well to the BC Hockey League. But you look at the banners in the Coliseum, and they're almost all from the Rocky Hockey days and previous. Certainly not very many banners since the times that the Prince George Bruce Kings have been in the BC Hockey League. Our best season, perhaps prior to this one, was 2004 and 05. Uh, never did get a banner from there. Uh, we were a host of the RBC Royal That's Bank right. Cup, and we have a silver medalist banner, banner for that. And certainly the Prince George Spruce Kings would like to be able to do something for that for their fans. As a community, one of four community-owned team uh, in the BCHL, you've got a, a unique opportunity to, to raise some revenue, uh, and, and you're a big part of that. Tell everyone about that. Well, it kind of fell into my lap. Um, certainly the Prince George Spruce Kings uh, are... They, they gain a lot of success through the volunteers that step up and get things done. And uh, certainly there isn't a lot of uh, finances to be able to have a full staff or a full complement of staff. And the show home lottery is a certainly a big part of the Prince George Bruce King's operation and operational budget. Every year, uh, this is year number 33 for the Prince George Bruce King show home. There's a house that's built and somebody's going to win it. Uh, this year's house is worth almost $500,000. It's a half-million-dollar home in Prince George in the Aberdeen Glen subdivision, which is a golf course area of town. Um, and it comes equipped with some appliances and some special touches. A lot of businesses like to bring in some of their state-of-the-art technology and showcase it in the show home. And certainly that becomes a great opportunity for the people in Prince George to win a beautiful house. And you don't have to live in, in Prince George to be a part of that. For anyone who's watching who may want to purchase a ticket, let us know how you can do that. Well, absolutely. Uh, and it's very key. I mean, this is a lottery that's governed by the uh, BC governing body that looks after even Lotto Max and all of the uh, lotteries. Um, so anybody in the province of British Columbia can participate in our lottery. They can purchase a ticket for $100. They'll be in for all the early bird prizes and the grand prize that's on May the 15th. 
Uh, but if you want to purchase a ticket, you have to be inside the province of BC. There's a toll-free number. It's 1-855-962-I-WIN or 4946. And as long as you're over the age of 19, you can make that purchase with the uh, ticket hotline and have that ticket mailed to you and be in the running to win the half million dollar home. Ticket purchasers must be 19 years of age or older. Before we let you go, I want to touch on uh, the two key people for this organization, Mike Haas and Dave Dupas. They've been a part of this organization. Dave, I think, is in his third or third year now, I believe, and, and Mike a little bit longer. But just tell everyone how important they are to, to the success that this franchise is having right now. Well, you look at those two and what they have done since they became a team head coach and a general manager. It's not very often that you have a team in the BC Hockey League where you have two separate bodies no, that right. are looking after yeah. that. Uh, but uh, Mike Hawes has been in the hockey world for a long, long time, and he's certainly been able to develop a lot of uh, network connections. And Dave Dupas has played hockey at a professional level as well. Uh, the two of them have got together, and uh, they talk almost daily, and uh, they identify needs, they identify wants, and they identify desires, and, and then it becomes Mike Hawes' job to kind of go out and recruit those players and find those players. And if you look at the players that have come into the organization since those two have been working together roughly over the last two and a half, three seasons, you start to see a little bit of a trend that we're seeing right now. And we started the interview by talking about where the Prince George Spruce Kings are in the standings, and they're battling for top spot. And a lot of that has to go towards the tools that have been put in the toolbox by Mike Hawes and certainly uh, the people that can pick up those tools and work with them being Dave Dupas and now Colton Buffy as the assistant coach this year. Lastly, before we go, tell everyone uh, how to follow yourself and the uh, Spruce Kings online. Absolutely. The Spruce Kings have a Facebook page. We also have a Twitter account. All you have to remember is Spruce Kings, one word. Um, so at Spruce Kings or forward slash Spruce Kings off the Facebook page. Myself, it's Ron underscore Gallo on Twitter. And I do have a Facebook page as well. But I try to focus all of the information through the Spruce Kings sites. Thanks again for joining me. All the best to you in the holidays. Jacob, thank you as well. And Merry Christmas. Thank you. You too.